Hi designers, in our template gallery we have a couple logo animation templates and today we will be recreating number 3. Now all of these animations are fairly similar, so if you follow along with this video you should be able to recreate all of these. So let's get started. First we will create the design. So our artboard has a background color of black. Then we want to import an ellipse. Let's go into design mode to make our life easier. This will be 240 by 240 pixels. It will be white and it should be in the center. Now let's actually hide it from here so we can create the other animations, I mean the other designs without getting disturbed. So we want to import our actual logo. This one will be 160 pixels by 160 pixels. Let's align it. And then we want the text. This will be our company. Montserrat black white. All right, let's align this. Perfect. Now we can start to animate. So let's first make this visible again so we can actually animate it. And we are working with a couple custom animations today. One of them being, let's actually select the ellipse. A custom animation on the ellipse, which will be arc. And so we want a initial value of 0% donut. We want to go to 100% donut, like so. We want it to be 1.2 seconds natural. So right now we have this, and at the same time, at another action, we want this to scale in from 0% to 100%, giving us this little animation. Now about halfway, we want to animate our logo in, also with a scale, or let's actually give it the scale grow in animation. This will take care of the opacity by default. And this will be 0.6 seconds, also natural. All right, this looks great. Let's position it a little bit more to the left. Okay, right before the end of this animation, we want to start moving this. So let's give it a new animation, custom move. And we want it to move to the left. Now this move will be 0.8 seconds natural, so that's perfect. And let's actually just do Control C or Command Z on Mac and then paste it onto the actual company, make it at the same time. And so this will move our entire composition. And now we can actually move it a little bit further so it is nicely centered in the middle. Perfect. And the last thing we want to do is to actually make sure that the company logo is not visible from the beginning. So about here, we will give our company logo a default in animation, which will be slide from the right. And it will be, I think, 50%, um, let's say 300 milliseconds natural on the letters forward 50 milliseconds delay and slow down this is exactly what we wanted so let's take a look at the animation perfect you now recreated a logo animation and you can replicate this with all the other logo templates because they are quite similar if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment and we will respond as soon as possible